This is the introduction for the projectiles lab you'll be doing today. So to start with, you need four things. You need the launcher, a small plastic ball, sheet of white paper, and a sheet of carbon paper. Once you have those, go ahead and put the launcher on one of the lab tables. Aim it so that it's gonna hit a free space on the floor and not another person or something else in the lab. Once you have that done, you're, you can uh, go ahead and make the first test shot. So, how the launcher works is that there's a small spring inside. So, to prime it, you have to put the ball, you have to put the ball inside and then compress it with a rod until you hear three clicks from the spring. Once, once you hear those clicks, uh, the launcher is primed. So, to fire it, make sure that it's aimed, uh, for the test shot, make sure that it's aimed perfectly horizontally. There will be a small angle gauge on the side to make sure that you don't, to make sure that it's perfectly level. Once you're ready to fire, there'll be a small string at the back. Go ahead and pull it and the ball will shoot out and hit some space on the floor. So pay attention where the ball lands and right in the center, go ahead and put a piece of white paper and tape it down to the floor. On top of that, put a piece of carbon paper. Now, for the next part for the actual trials, you wanna put the ball back in, compress it again, and launch it. You wanna make sure it hits this paper. When, it hits, when the ball hits the carbon paper, it'll make a small black mark on the white paper that you can measure. So, you wanna do that a total of six times. So you want six trials. Which means six black dots on the white paper underneath the carbon paper. Once those trials are done, you need to measure a couple things. The first off is the horizontal, or the vertical distance traveled by the projectile. So in that case, it's going to be the distance from the bottom of the barrel to the floor. And I'll go ahead and call it delta y because it's in the y direction. Then you have six different measurements over here. So you need to measure the horizontal distance traveled. So take right from where the ball leaves the launcher and measure that. I'll call that delta x because it's in the x direction. So in this case, delta y is going to be constant for each trial and delta x, you're gonna have six different values from the six different points you'll have on the paper. So once you have the delta x's, go ahead and average them to get an average delta x and use that for your calculations. So once you have the first part of this done, you wanna do a little bit of analysis. You wanna see if you can find V0, the initial uh, launch velocity of the launcher. To do this, I'm gonna kinda of guide you through it, give you a couple hints. During the lab, uh, I'll be here and Professor Bond to help walk around and help you figure it out. So the first part is, usually in kinematics, we were only moving in one dimension either in the x or the y direction, but now the motion is in the x and y direction. So we don't have any equations to describe both dimensions, so what we have to do is split it up into an x part and a y part. So in our case, consider just the x motion of the ball. It travels some distance delta x, and consider just the y motion of the ball travel some distance delta y. Now, one thing that's constant between them is the time it takes. However long it takes to travel this horizontal distance, it took the exact same amount of time to travel this vertical distance. So the t is constant between them. Now, another thing to consider, the launcher is perfectly horizontal. In that case, the initial velocity, velocity the ball launches at is only in the x direction. So I'll put V0 on this side, the X side. Now, if we want to consider just the Y dimension, give you something to consider. So if you look at it from the front, it travels in the Y and X direction. But imagine you were standing right in front of the launcher and you looked at it. From this angle, it only has Y direction. It's going to look just like a free fall. Just like a free fall. So, for help with the Y, consider it 
as free fall motion. So, if you consider it as free fall, there's two more assumptions that can be made. The initial velocity in the y direction is what? And the acceleration in the y direction is what? Once you have this, and once you're able to figure out the launch velocity, the launch velocity will not change at no matter what angle you put the, no matter what angle you tilt the launcher at. So in this case, for the next part of the lab, if we know the launch angle, if we know the launch speed and the launch angle, we can calculate how far the projectile should go. So in this case, we're going to launch it at a 20 degree angle. So now we want to make a prediction. So with some delta V, I mean with some uh, initial velocity and a 20 degree launch angle, how far is delta X? When we launch it at 20 degrees, how far is a, is a projectile now going to go? Because when we launched it horizontally, we could figure that out. Now with V0, we want to estimate what delta X will be. So to do that, give you a little bit of help. So in that case, delta X, or the initial velocity was only in the X direction. But in this one, it's launched at 20 degrees. The velocity is going to be not par uh, parallel to the ground. It's going to have some direction to it. Here we have the initial velocity at a 20 degree angle. So the initial velocity will be the same, but now it's in a different direction. So if you think about vectors, it's going to have two components to it. One in the y direction and one in the x direction. So now, knowing this, if you can find both of these, you want to put them in the similar equations you had here to try and figure that out. Once you have a predicted delta x value, bring it to either I or Professor Bond. We'll go ahead and check it off, make sure you're good. So, when you have that, and we say it's okay to continue, go ahead and measure that delta x distance out and put a piece of white paper on the floor where you think it should land. Next, go ahead and put the ball on the launcher, compress it, launch it at a 20 degree angle, and see what and see where it actually does land. If it lands on the paper, that's great. You made a good prediction. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just go ahead and shift the paper a little bit so that the ball will 100% hit it. Now with this, yet again, you want to do six trials of this. So you have six black marks on the paper. With this one, again, delta Y in this case is going to be constant. But the delta x, you're going to have six different values for the distance travel. So we want to average delta x. And in this case, you're going to have two values for delta x. You're going to have one from your prediction and one from your actual experimental data. So you want to compare those against each other. And once you have that done, you can go ahead and flip to the back and there will be some analysis questions to do. If you have any questions, you can ask me or Professor Bond. But go ahead and get started with the lab.